Hello and welcome to your weekly horoscope for week commencing the 23rd of May. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'm going to give you the broad strands to look out for, but please stay with me. I will then give in great detail each of the 12 zodiac signs that you can relate to, the key dates and influences for each one. Now, on the 29th of April, Mercury, the planet of communication, moved into the sign of Gemini. But on the 10th of May, around two weeks ago, it went into a retrograde. And as we start this week, Mercury retreats back within that retrograde into the sign of Taurus. Now, Mercury is the ruler of Gemini, so even in the retrograde, and of course it's been in a recently sparkling alliance with the flirtatious Venus, there have been possibilities. A lot of communications, a lot of ideas. I think Mercury ver reversing back into Taurus asks us to get really grounded about what some of those ideas may be and try to get uh, a more tangible idea of how we can make things work in a uh, really practical way. So an opportunity, I think, to still grapple with those finances, especially with the recent cost of living uh, increases and where we can squeeze a bit more from our budget, Mercury's going to help us to think about those things. But when it comes to thinking, late last week, there was a quarter moon in the dreamy sign of Pisces and that squared the sun in the sign of Gemini. So a little bit of gossip could be doing the rounds this week. We should definitely not necessarily just believe at face value something we're told, particularly within our neighborhood. There could also be some uh, potential for misunderstandings with siblings. Now, this is a really important week in so many ways, but I think mostly because Mars on Tuesday returns to one of its two home zones, but of course, it is the only ruling planet of the sign of Aries. And that's where it gets back to on Tuesday for a six week stay. But it immediately forges an absolutely fantastic link with Jupiter. Now, Jupiter, of course, is the planet of expansion. So now Mars returns to Aries. We have Jupiter, the planet of uh, growth and potentially of good luck. And we also have Venus in the sign of Aries too. So the potential for initiative and drive is very strong. When Mars and Jupiter get together, it can give us uh, an even greater sense of determination and thrust. But we also must remember that the element of the sign of Aries is fire. And Jupiter can, you know, see us be a little bit overconfident in some ways. So it's going to be important to keep you know, grounded, and perhaps Mercury in that retrograde in Taurus can help this, especially where we're wanting to bring a much more excitement and action to a situation that may have stalled. But you know, it's not just Mars that's forging a gorgeous link with Jupiter, because the Sun is from Monday to Friday in a sextile, and this is one of the luckiest aspects that you can get in astrology. So if our ideas are strong, our determination and spirit to see them through, that energy in Aries, particularly with Jupiter, that gives us a great opportunity to move forwards at some pace. So something that has been a little bit stuck could gain traction, and that's really exciting. Now, ironically, Venus forges a very positive link with Saturn this week, a very stabilizing angle, so this is, if you like, Venus in Aries, technically detrimented, but it's in a sextile with the co-ruler of Aquarius. So that's very much about the collective, the group, friends, if you like. Venus is about taking in the sign of Aries. It's about maybe just going for it a little bit. But if there is something that's working out well in a relationship, it could actually be very stable. The irony is that Venus is also in a square with Pluto from Monday through to the end of the week. And any relationship that is leveraged, so where 
uh, perhaps someone is promising us a, a really amazing deal around a job or perhaps it could be that someone tries to spoil us big time if they're trying to get to know us you know almost like being over generous it's not to say that there's anything sinister with these tactics but we just must be aware that Pluto is about power and Venus is about money as well as potentially sex so you know the inference is clear Saturn can bring stability but Pluto can bring some uh, leverage so just be conscious of that but I think the key this week is to cut through the swirling mist that is that quarter moon because there could be some mixed signals it's not just Mercury's retrograde and Mercury's retrograde in Taurus is most certainly asking us to scrutinize the details of things in a very exacting way now if you uh, are new to my channel I'd be honored if you would subscribe I'm getting very close to that hundred thousand mark all the illnesses I've had in recent years last 10 years catching up now so we'd greatly appreciate if you would click or tap on the bell notification symbol if you would like to ascend above this broadcast if you give me three pieces of personal information time date and place of birth I can share with you an astrological roadmap that can guide the rest of your life and also my special package of 30% off a character analysis for the next 12 months. No two charts are the same. Please see the link beneath this video. But please stay with me now for your individual zodiac forecast. Hello Taurus and welcome to your weekly horoscope for week commencing the 23rd of May. So Mercury re-enters your sign but it's twisting backwards. What does this mean? I think you're a person who can be very shrewd about marshalling your resources. For sure you like to splash out, you love a bit of luxury and of course calorific goodies can often be very tempting too. So it's possible that as Mercury was in the sign of Gemini, that you were trying to grapple with some kind of plan that may have brought extra financial away, and it can still do so, because the Sun continues to be very, very supportive to you in this regard. But it's possible that you weren't within the plan quite showing the level of individuality which is really important to you. So maybe you were orientated towards getting the foundations right, being focused on the money. I think what Mercury in your sign is asking you to think about the idea, to think about the inspiration, and then the other stuff can all follow. Because, do you know, uh, past efforts, past skills, past knowledge, past connections can all come back to you this week in an extremely fortunate way. And it could be that some kind of discreet uh, soundings can take place. Someone may get in contact, perhaps even through a mutual friend, and ask you if you're interested in working for them. Or it could be going back to work in a department or an organisation or for an individual that you had a great rapport with in the past. So your financial situation can still be transformed in a positive way, but somehow or another, you need to mine some deeper energies within you. Now that may mean having a lot of belief in the psychological side of your situation. So for example, if you're not quite sure where you are, if things do seem a little fearful at the present time, if you're not quite getting the clarity you need, it would be totally understandable. But what the stars or the planets give you, more technically correct, this week is a lot of support that even if you aren't feeling a bit timid, you're not quite sure how it's going to play out. There is a lot of support there. There is a lot of people or situations that can work in your favour. It's just all likely to be very subtle rather than very obvious. Now, in terms of your romantic situation with Venus in a, a, your ruler, in a very stable link to Saturn. If you're in a relationship where you really appreciate the stability that it gives you, that's something you can appreciate. But if it does lack a little bit of the passion, the spark, the dynamism, then that could see you thinking about 
perhaps someone that you've got a secret admiration for. Some bulls may even have some kind of clandestine meter. But with Pluto in the mix too, the truth of your relationships could be revealed even if it is a delicate subject at the present time. So there is the potential for quite a, a raising of consciousness about your talents, your skills, your abilities, the people who are with you, but also there can be some behind the scenes machinations, but it's all taking you in the direction you really need to go. And it's going to become much more obvious to you by the 3rd of uh, June. And then by the middle of June, in fact, really, I feel by the 23rd of June, when Venus, your ruler, moves in to the sign of, of, of Gemini, that's when you're going to start to see your income start to build up again in a way which really pleases you. So this is a little bit of an interconnecting period where you're working hard, doing lots of things, but you may not necessarily get the instant recognition or rewards, but what you're doing is vitally important.